Hello, and welcome back to the Guild Wars Eye of the North Let's Play. So, we're about to hunt the Norn Bear, and we're going to talk to Sif to start the hunt. So, Who let's do you? it. Um, oh, anything you can do. That's another. Prove your worth to me and conquer the same creatures. Oh, that yeah, is what this one. Goron. Oh, no, this is the follow up to this thing, I think. It wants you to kill even harder enemies. 15,000 experience, 250 Norn. Okay. Well, we'll worry about that better. We'll worry about Who's that later. There? I'm ready to face the Norn Bear. Are you ready? I said we we're gonna. This episode's for the Norn Bear. We're doing the Norn Bear. All right, we're with Sif and Jora. Join Jora and Sif. Get the Volvin blessing from the Shrine of Wolf Spirit. Is that is that this? Is this the Shrine of the Wolf Spirit? No, this is a Resurrection Shrine. Where's this Shrine of the Wolf Spirit nonsense? Maybe that's where we're headed. Maybe we're gonna go to. That must be where we're headed. The Norn Bear strikes hard and then vanishes. To catch him, we must invoke the power of the Wolf Spirit. Travel with me to the Shrine of the Wolf Spirit and receive Wolf's Blessing. Oh, okay, that makes sense now. <laughs> Herp door. All right, let's go. So yeah, and, uh, welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play. Doing it in hour. This is basically a mission. These are like the missions of Guild Wars 1. These like these story relevant mission segments. Oh, these Norn. Norn are dead. Open up our little map. Jotun! Yup! Spin I, I, I just like to spin, alright? I know I shouldn't be using it. It's not as strong. I should just hit it with... If I'm only hitting one thing, it's just, just power attack. Just can't help it. I like to do the deeps. It's fun. Fun time. We have a good time, okay? Alright, let's go. Uh... Oh, oh, oh. One of these things. Don't you run away from me. Oh, man. Oof. <laughs> all the conditions all at once. Oof. That hurt. <laughs> uh... uh Try to sneak by. Now I pay for my crimes against humanity. Now I'd rather they all knock me down at the same time so I can move on with my life. Oh, I'm blind. I hate it. Can't do anything when I'm blind. It's the worst. Yeah, too bad. But yeah, too bad we don't have the Norn buff now, right? Be nice. Ever see a Tengu that can take a bite out of you? Yeah, tell him, you're that badass. It will still be fu always funny to me to see a bear that shoots you with a bow. Uh, okay. Invoke the Wolven Blessing to receive abilities of the Wolf Spirit. Okay, but we need to we take this guy down first, right? You know what we gotta do? Alright, Shrine of Wolf Spirit. Gil, you take on the aspect of the wolf. Your energy returns to maximum. You have negative 2 energy generation. You have plus 90 maximum health and 3 health regeneration. Wolf attacks replace your skill. Yeah, it's, Wolf B is pleased. The Shrine of Wolf Spirit imbues us with its aura. The magic does not provide the physical prowess we receive from the bear spirit, but it will help in this hunt. Invoke the power and then follow your nose. Right, I guess we will get rid of Flail for this. Alright, so now you can get the wolf this blessing. Uh, you gain energy every time you take or deal damage. Alright. Agility, bloodlust, pounce, swipe, track down, sonia. Is this, I'm guessing that's what I needed? Okay, and I heard a ding. I'm not sure where to go, though. Run fast! <laughs> Gotta go fast. Yeah, and I guess the bloodlust, okay, the bloodlust makes the actual green dot spawn. 
and then it goes away. I see. And then this is going to turn us back to the human form. Okay, but we have a general idea of where we need to go. It's over here somewhere. Or am I going the wrong way and this is all just a waste of everybody's time? That's also a very good possibility. Although, no, it does look like we can get somewhere over here, right? Is that, is that a cave? Yeah. It ain't, it ain't, we ain't over yet. It ain't over yet. We might, oh, I'm probably taking the long way, though, knowing myself. Eh. No, this is probably where we have to go. You know, you cut down here and then you take a left or something. All right, how more, the, the real question, I guess, is how more powerful are these things? to get myself the run just a little bit longer. It's definitely up this way, though. Will they kill him? You can hear when they're murdering themselves. One group at a time. So, I don't know. I, I, th I think Talon does fall down, too. They just don't have, like, a knockdown animation for him. So it doesn't look like he falls down. That's my only guess. Okay, almost went into wolf form, but all right, he's up, it's up there somewhere. But let's kill these guys first. It's worth doing because it, apparently it makes makes all my uh, allies also attack faster. You just keep casting it. So there's no reason not to, I guess. Always get the bloodlust. No, no, no. Uh. Damn it! I don't. Have, I don't want to be killing things all day. Get, get. I wonder if that works on spirits too, because that'd be freaking. That'd be insane. Come on out. I know you're over here. I have come for you. Show yourself, brother. There he is. Get him. Spirit World Retreat. He's retreating. Oh, stay on Svanir's trail. All right, where is he now? I need to transform into wolf mode. He's probably out. He's probably this way, realistically. But he could not be. He could be backwards, just to mess with me. Okay, he's bored, like I expected. Well, then that makes sense. So yeah, so basically, like what they we can't we can't become the bear, but we get like aspects of each one. Not each one. I think there's a wolf. There's more than one. I know there's wolf. I know that there's bear. You had Urson Blessing was broken. It probably still is. I remember, like, uh, you can do an entire Fisher of Well in Underworld War Runs when everyone would just bring in the Urson Blessing. It was so, so broken. Such a broken ability. Hell, when I did a lot of my, um, vanquishing, what I would do is I was a ranger ritualist. I would uh, bring a bunch of spirits. I, c I would summon a bunch of spirits, and then I would go into Urson mode, and, you know, and I would just kill things with my spirits and my Urson abilities. And then I also had uh, summon spirits, so you could just teleport your spirits to you, so I'd just keep them with me, have them come along. It was madness. It was ridiculous. Face your fate, Svanir. Your treacherous blood must flow to cleanse our family. It was, just, it was just tempting for him, alright? Damn, I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Every time I try to prevent him from escaping, he escapes. 
It must be getting close. Na na na. No, so I feel like eventually you can go this way. Why do I feel like there's more this way? I didn't want me to go that way. How do I get to that? So, huh? Wow, I already went back into normal mode. That sucked. I didn't do any damage. I didn't hit anything. What the hell? All right, then I guess the question is, how do we get? I guess we have to go down. Then we have to get around to go back. Are you saying we gotta go all the way around to get back? I think that's what they're saying. Cause I don't think we can go this way. There's no way we can get around this, and there's no way down. Are you kidding me? Ugh, gross. I guess maybe maybe there's a another tunnel way out. Like we go that way instead. Yeah, I imagine they, they would never make us backtrack for no, you know. So it must be down and up. So that's what I'm gonna go do. All right, get in there. Wish they attacked me more. You gain it. I guess you gain energy if you. Inflex. I don't know. Like, Inflex deep wound. All right. I like that. Totem of man. Just, just, just return to normal. Yeah. Mission log. We're doing good. We're doing good. We're doing fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. You go up this way. No problems. No problems. No problems. Yeah. Hang in there. Yeah. Keep hitting me. It's the only way I could get in there. No, no. Oh well. Defeat the Jotun. Defeat the Jotun. I would love if there's a thing where we eventually get to go see what the Jotun were like at their prime. Because Guild Wars 2 has taught us that the Jotun used to be one of the most, like, top races. And that they've fallen. So it'd be interesting to see what the Jotun were like when they were at max power. But they got nerfed. It's this way. We're close. Come out, come out, come out. Oh, run faster. Show yourself. Slays Vanir, the Norn Bear. It comes to this, brother. I have no choice. Swallow your pathetic excuses in your pity, sister. Your weakness will be your downfall. So all this time you're thinking he couldn't speak, but he could. Forgive me, brother. This is for the best. Did he try? He, did, what? Okay. He like spirit retreated back into. What? <laughs> all right. That's it. Dragon slash dragon slash dragon slash dragon slash. Another piece of the map. He dropped a piece of the map. The Norn Bear. Stand aside. I must finish this. Jora, he's defeated. He is my brother. He is my responsibility.
metal. Jora, you have my sympathy. This was the only way it could end. The curse is lifted for both me and Svanir, I think. That was a cool effect. You have helped me. I shall help you. Good. We need to unite the other Norn to fight the Destroyers. I fear my words will carry little weight. I have my brother's blood on my hands. If you can't influence the Norn, then who can? Olaf, the sevenfold son of Olaf, is esteemed by many. <laughs> As for me, I must seek Egil, who tells tales by the flame Egil. to fully redeem my family's name. Olaf it is, then. I need to talk to a Norn leader. Norn do not have leaders, dwarf. Only heroes. Jora, we can aid you and seek out allies. Let us help you with your burdens. You have the spirit of a Norn, human. I am proud to call you friend. I like how it's like, let me help you with your burdens, and then we get to see her freaking boobs just hanging there. Yeah, those are burdens, all right. Jeez. Da -da 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 yeah, that's how they did, like, the mission logo for Eye of the North. And then you get a little flag. Oh, but it didn't actually give me the map pieces. I wanted the map pieces. That's lame. He dropped the map piece and I wasn't allowed to have it. I figured I'd get it after that. Oh, well. All right. Well, now we're back here. We need to talk to Ola Olaf, son of Olaf. Oh, here we go. Optional. Go to Cephala. Ask Sif for information on Olaf. Olaf Olafsson in Eagle Fire Teller. Speak with Eagle Fire Teller and Jacob Moraine, which we already did that. Help Jorah regain her honor among the Norn. Blood washes blood. And then speak with Olaf Olafsson and Olfsted. A gate too far. Oh, these are two. Yeah, these are two more missions, but you can choose which in which option and like which order we do them in. Who sent you? Northern Allies. What do you want, human? Um, we'll do both. But first, we'll see where can I find Olaf Olafsson. Olaf Olafsson can be found south of here in Olafstead. Wow, that's a lot of Olaf. Why are you here? Uh, where can I find Ejo Fire Tower? I don't know. Fire Tower is in the middle of Jenga Moraine, Northeast Sphere. I already knew that one because we talked to him earlier. He lives, he's right there. So we have to go back there real quick um, to do that one. Because that's blood water. Yeah, like I was saying, you know, and then I bet we have to go down here for the story. Yeah, yeah, I say, I remember this. Um, it looks like we need to go here, though. And then let's see. So we'll go, uh,. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not Why sure which here? northern out. Let's do Olaf Olafsson first. Olaf's dead. So let's we'll do that one. So let's go there, and then I think by the time we get there, real quick, that'll be about. Although he wants, why don't we? Why do we have to go out that way? Uh, we have to go to. No, we could probably go out this way. I think it would be faster, right? This wants me to go out and like do a bunch of stuff. I can just go down here. Boop. Boom. We're just gonna do a run. A legitimate, just like, we're hauling, we're just hauling it. The goal, we're not here to fight. Our goal is literally just to go to Olafstead. Um, let's see. You know what, I'm, gonna eat my, I'm even eating my last birthday cake. This is how serious I am. I'm even eating my last birthday cake, just so we have the constant speed buff. I just wanna, I just wanna get out of here. We just wanna get it done, we just wanna get all the way over there. It's a race against the clock. Dinner and internet. And I'll, although personally, I might have wanted to wait until I got to all of the map and then use the speed buff, but whatever. It's fine. Yeah, man, this game's so good. Yeah, uh, this might sound kind of out of the blue, but like I heard um, Asmund Gold talk about Guild Wars One. Very, like, very little. He just said something like. When I found out you couldn't jump in Guild Wars 1, I was like, nah, man, not for me, bleh. And I hate that mindset. To me, it should, he's a smart guy, like, let me preface this. He's a smart dude. Like, he said some really good stuff. I agree with most things he said for a lot of things. Not everything, a lot of stuff, though. He's, he's a pretty smart guy. No disrespect to the guy. But that mindset of like, oh, I couldn't jump, so nah. Instantly, I was, I, I, I lost. I, I just, I, I can't trust his taste in games, I guess, at that point, because it's just like, you didn't even, if one little thing like that you dislike, then your mind, to me, you're just, you're limiting yourself. You're, you're not realizing 
like the game is built around not you only like jumping because games are usually built around have a purpose for it uh but get worse you don't need to jump there's no reason to jump there's, the, the world isn't designed for jumping so who cares also why am i fighting i said i wasn't going to fight the whole point was that i wasn't gonna fight <laughs> and then i ended up fighting anyway well it was because it was two guys so i figured it will kill two guys but whatever here we go i'm, I'm focusing i'm refocusing my efforts let's go let's go let's go but yeah no no i, I just I, rem I i hear that and i just remember that and i just always be like come on come on asmund it's a good game but on a plus side josh strife hayes which you might also know he he, does, he has uh the worst ga worst mmo ever series where he like reviews mmos and games and stuff um he loves Guild Wars 1. He thought Guild Wars 1 was great. Like a diamond in the rough, a forgotten gem, a fantastic classic. Like, so, some good stuff. And I'm glad that, see, and that's a guy who I can trust his opinion. And, and I feel good with his, I agree with him stuff. Again, another smart guy. And again, no diss on Asmongold, but he, he just gets it. He understands what a good, a good game doesn't need to jumping. Or jumping isn't a mandatory thing or is that important or whatever. All right. Jara falls. Jara fells, not falls. Javara falls. Yeah. Bajar. Ba. No. Vara jar. Vara jar fall fells. Oof. A lot of words in there that I apparently don't know how to speak. Who sent you? Nobody. Just me. I defeat the Norn. As tradition. Never angry. Get my buff. Yep, yep. Mostly because we're probably gonna have to fight through this. I don't really see any other option. And man, I didn't real I don't remember how they made so many snow maps. I mean, it is the eye of the north, so I guess it makes sense. They really were loving the, the whoever when they were working on this, they were really loving the whole snowy atmosphere, huh? Actually, honestly, there is a lot of maps added. Let's I don't remember all of them, but I mean we got a bunch in the north. Eventually we go a little over here, we get a little over here, and eventually I believe we get some over here, and even some over here. So, that's a cool thing about Eye, Eye of the North, it's a globe-trotting adventure. And I, I like globe-trotting adventures. I like when we go from one from one place to another place, all around the world, add to the map. Alright, let's just go, we're just going for it. Run, we're run, running through the woods. Look at all these red dots. Holy crap, I don't want to fight with them. Just let me run. Oh no. The one thing I was most worried about has affected me. Uh, leave me alone. You're not even real. Everything's an illusion. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. We're still in it. In it to win it. Ah. Needle shot. Ow. <laughs> My pride. No, 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 Isims, no, they're the worst. Isims got the, the friggin' slows. I can handle getting shot, I can't handle getting frosted. Oh. Side, run dodge. Side, the side. Huh. 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 I'm a master runner, okay? I used to run to drops, I used to do drop runs, all right? can't mess with me. I know what I'm doing. I got the heart of an orn. <laughs> and by heart of an orn, I mean <laughs> running away. Yeah, we're almost there, though. So it's okay. Olaf's dead. Made it. Although I think you have to, like, actually walk all the way up there. Portal isn't, like, right here. Nothing to read. I like how his stead is actually up on the thing. Here we go. Olaf's dead. Olaf's dead. Yeah, we made it. Nobody's here, though. Very quiet. Oh, look, somebody's here. Never mind. Savior of the Luxons. Yeah. Luxon for life. All right, we made it. Olaf's dead. Home of Olaf Olaf's son, the seventh Olaf in his family line. This squat hilltop fort overlooks Vajar, uh, Varajar fells. Man, 
The grass-covered keep is a haven for Norn hunters to rest between battles and tell tales by fireside. Olaf is also the reigning champion of the great Norn Aelmut, and his notoriety, draw, notoriety draws younger Norn to his fireside to heed the stories of his mightiest battles. And the cool guy himself is right here. Look at that mane. Look at that red hair mane. Who goes there? And then... Uh, allies, surely you jest. But since George speaks well of you, I will give you a chance. Meet me outside the shrine of the Raven Spirit, and we will discuss matters further. You will be there, Norn. Vision of the Raven. Yeah, so that's Raven. But yeah. Very good, very good. Just his agent. Yeah, just him. Just He's just chilling here. Just his outpost. Alright. Cool beans. Well, that does it. Another episode in the bag. Olaf's we helped hunt down the Norn bear. And now we're seeking some help. And then we're also going to have to do the other part. I forgot this is like a three-pronged offensive. That's another thing they did too. They gave you a lot of choice. You can choose which main faction to help. And then you choose different pathways of how to help those individuals. It's pretty cool. Man, I... Uh, Things like this, in retrospect, just make me wish there was more Guild Wars 1. They were getting so good at it. Eh, anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Till then, stay super.